the end of the day, it's all about me being able to run faster. If, how, how do I run faster? I, by losing weight. How am I going to lose weight? By keeping my blood sugar under control. If I could accomplish those three things, I will meet my goal and I will get my kind of marathon that I want. When I was first diagnosed, um, my manager came up to me, looked at me and said, are you okay? And I went, not really. Why? And he goes, look, you know, I love you like a brother, but you look like you're going to die. And I went, oh, I said, why? He said, your face is very pale. Are you sure you're okay? And I went, no, I'm really, I'm in the bathroom all night. I called up my doctor. Doc, these are my symptoms. They said, come in right now. I said, where are you? I said, I'm about an hour and a half away. They said, we will wait for you. Get over here now. And I went, that's serious. She said, it doesn't sound good. Get over here now. Um, I didn't believe her. I made her check my sugar three different times. She goes, your blood sugar's off the charts. She goes, we can't even measure. She goes, you are topped out. And then my doctor called me up the next day and said, get to the hospital right now. I said, why? He said, your blood sugar level when you came in was 575. And I went, no, no, it's 350 now. And he went, how do you know? I said, I went to Walgreens. I bought a blood sugar tester. And and he goes, and how'd you drop it so quickly? I said, I went running twice. I joined the, I even joined the gym. I was sick of pills. I was on antibiotics for years. I was on uh, an antidepressant, several kinds of them, which several, several of them made me loony. I was on uh, Adderall almost my entire life. Uh, they were about to put me on high blood pressure because my blood pressure was around 150 over 90, uh, 95. I was pushing high blood pressure. And I felt, I just felt awful. I felt like I had this, I was in this dark world. I felt alone. Nobody could help me. And here I had these cysts that I, that I couldn't walk half the time. I was, it was, it's horrible. Then over the years, I just let a little bit slip by. I've not been as good as I should have been. Uh, and my C, my A1C uh, rose to 6.7 which my doctor wasn't happy about. All the running and all the exercising I do in all these marathon races I do helped me get down to 6.2. At that point, I already started running. And I was doing better. I was losing weight. But, and my symptoms were getting better, but they were not completely reversed. Um, and then I asked a, a friend of mine whose husband is an ultramarathon runner and a fruitarian. Um, I mean, this guy runs hundreds upon hundreds of miles. I couldn't believe how the guy could eat an entire case of oranges and run 100 miles and then win a 26 marathon mile the next day. I was blown away. I didn't understand it. And she goes, I'm telling you, if you eat a lot of fruit and eat a lot of vegetables, you will reverse your condition. I went, all right. And then simultaneously, my friend told me about a book, uh, Dr. Joel Furman. And I was just like, oh, my God, I got to read the book. And I read the book, I didn't even tell my wife, and one day I come up to her, I said, Glad, I think I gotta turn vegan for six weeks. She goes, the only way you're gonna do this is if we do this together, and I need to understand what you're going to do. Um, so having that support was key, and I do believe that diabetes was a gift. I've been fighting diabetes for about five years, but ever since then, I don't get any more cysts. I haven't gotten a cyst in five years, even though I, you know, I had a lot of the information and I knew exactly what to do. I knew exactly how to eat in order to get there. But I wasn't strict enough prior to me joining Mastering Diabetes because I don't think I was as, as I wasn't as engaged. It, over the years, I've been fighting diabetes for five years, but over the years, I got very lax. Slowly added, you know, vegan ice cream back into my diet. Yeah, it's vegan, but it doesn't mean it's healthy. You know, it's still loaded with sugar. It's still loaded with fat and coconut milk. And, I, you know, I used to love vegan ice cream last year. And I, all these vegan foods and all these vegan restaurants have been, over the years, killing me. I ran the New York City Marathon twice, uh, but I never really ran it the right way. I did this walk-run thing, and I wanted to really, uh, I really wanted to be, uh, get the runner's body that I wanted. Uh, I wanted to run faster. I want to keep up with my friends who I can't keep up with. And the only way for me to do it was to lose 30 pounds uh, or 40 pounds even or whatever. I mean, right now I lost 25 pounds, which uh, I think 26 now. Um, people are already starting to tell me, oh, my God, I can't believe how much weight you lost. I had you do it again. Um, 
and I really owe it all to this program. It really just kept me very focused. Um, and then after being on this program for three months, I got it down to 6.0. I never knew sweet potatoes were so good for me. And I never knew, like, yeah, okay, I could eat sweet potatoes, but I never realized how much of it I could eat. I didn't realize I could eat unlimited amounts. At the end of the day, it's all about me being able to run faster. If, how, how do I run faster? I, by losing weight. How am I going to lose weight? By keeping my blood sugar under control. Diabetes is a food-related disease. And diabetes needs to be controlled from the source. And that source is your fork. That source is your mouth. That's the only way you're going to beat it. You have to want it. It doesn't happen in a day. It doesn't happen in a week. When my mom called me up saying, screaming, crying, you don't know what this could do to you. I said, I was there when Uncle Marvin died. I said, I do know what's going to happen. And you're going to see, this is going to be the greatest thing that has ever happened to me. I'm going to lose weight. And this is going to be the best thing that has ever happened to me. And I'm, I'm going to reverse it. You're going to see. And when you eat healthy and you eat these positive foods, you become a positive person. And I've never had that. And it's really, it's so nice because for so many years I suffered uh, with cysts, with depression, not being confident. Okay. Okay. Okay.